Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only trendsetter DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail is called a Midnight Kiss. The ingredients you need... One and a half ounces of vodka, a half ounce of blue curacao, one teaspoon of lemon juice, and some champagne. Mm -hmm. So how you're going to make the midnight kiss is you're going to place the vodka, the blue curacao, lemon juice, and ice into a cocktail shaker and shake. Then strain into a champagne flute and top with a little bit of champagne. Mm, A midnight kiss. A midnight kiss. kiss. Tasty, well, cheers. Y'all. Cheers. Happy cheers. New Year. If you guys hear an uh, extra New voice Year. and see an extra face, we got Jesse Wu in the house. Yes. Cheers. 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 Oh, this doesn't even taste like it has any vodka in it. It doesn't. I don't taste any alcohol. It's in there. Oh, yeah. It's it. in there. You take it. <laughs> We're heavy drinkers. Just in us. And yours has less than both of us. Oh, my God. Yours really? has mostly champagne. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to Cocktails Your Discussions, you guys. Hey, y'all. This is our first day back uh, recording in the new year. Yeah. Hey. We're back in the studio for the mm-hmm. first time in 2024. Yay. So you're our first guest of the year, Jesse. Yay. Welcome, welcome. During Black Women's Haitian Independence Black Women's Month. Oh. Yes. Shout out Haitian to the black women oh, yeah. and the Haitian women. Mm-hmm. And you just got back from Ghana. Yeah, I did. How was, How was it? it? It was amazing. What'd you do? Every black person should go. I, I can't go wait so to go to Ghana. Every black person should go to Ghana. I went for Dead to December. Actually, I went twice last year. I went once in November, mm-hmm. and then I went back right back for Dead to December. We did so much. I went with Bozeman St. John. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what Death to December is. Detty December is basically. Oh, you're saying Detty? Yeah, I said Detty Death of December. No, no. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I asked the question and cleared oh, it no, up. No, no, no. Detty is like dirty. You know, oh. they say Detty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then they're gonna go through like a dry season, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, um, probably start next week. No alcohol. No, you know, people probably like ease back into work. But um, Detty December is just a bunch of festivities. Like Afro Future was there this mm-hmm. time, so. That was huge. Mm-hmm. Davido performed. Mm-hmm. Uh, Adi Kunle performed. Um, Black Sheriff. Like, all the big Ghana artists were there. Um, and I went with Bozeman St. John. I mean, she had her workshop there. She also, like, set us up to meet the president of Ghana. Oh, I got wow. To sit down with, I got to sit down with a king. Hold on, let me. A king? Not a king. Was he single? That's the first thing I asked. <laughs> <laughs> so, before he, came, yeah, before he came in... <laughs> Uh, Bo's mom was giving us all these rules, like, hey, you know, like, you no one stands unless he stands. Were y'all nervous? Some people were nervous, and I was like, I took the mic. I was like, is he single? She's like, please, she's like, please don't say that. When he and comes that's in. what I'm asking you. That's what, exactly. <laughs> well, and nobody, get out the nobody way. ever clarified, but he's young, very good looking, and mm. when he came in, he had his entourage with him. It was dead ass, like coming to America, like. His entourage was with was with him. Was he nice? He was he was very nice when he did start speaking. Mm-hmm. But we had to wait for like his entourage to to speak his praises. They sing to him. They they oh, they wow. like uplift him. Tell him all the good things about him. Is it all us. women as his no, entourage? No, it's men like singing. And um, his name was hold on, because I, I don't want to get his name wrong. His name was wow. your, His Excellency King Odin. Odeneho Kwafo Akoto the Third, and mm. he's a king in the Volta region, which is uh, where the Aways live. And Aways are people that are from Benin and Togo, mm-hmm. so those would be my ancestors. So Haitians descend from uh, Benin and Togo. So that's so. So dope. on Haitian Independence Day, which was January first, I got to meet a king. You met a king. What a trip. Do you think oh. you could really be a king's wife? Like, do no, you think you could really date a king? I just feel like so no, much responsibility no, comes with it. I would do it. I put yeah. up a video of me, like, speaking to the king, and people were in the comments like, wow, she's trying to be the king's second wife. I'm like, <laughs> hell sure, yeah. yeah. Hello. <laughs> Surely, like, you gotta praise this nigga every okay. morning, okay. every time Ooh. he stand up. Well, I'm the queen. I'm, I'm inclined to praise. Right. Yeah, I'm happy. Exactly. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. So yeah, it was a great trip. Okay, well, Jesse, before we uh, move on to weird sex and all that stuff, oh, 
we're going to play a game of I'm curious to know with you. I'm not sure if you know. Kiki and I came out with a game. It's called I'm Curious to Know. Didn't know. It is a right deck oh, of curated cards by Kiki and moi okay. to help people get to know who they're dating, who they might want to date, who they're oh, on nice. a date with, who's paying oh, nice. their bills, you know, a little bit better. Okay, fair. Mm -hmm. So um, you want to go first, Kiki? Sure. Okay, Jesse. what is your ideal family situation? Like marriage, kids, pets? What do you want for yourself? Oh, yeah, marriage. Marriage, three kids, uh, two kids. Do you care, boy or girl? No, just two healthy kids. I just want my kids to come out 10 fingers, 10 toes, you know, mm -hmm. healthy. You know what I mean? I would hope they have all the organs they're supposed to have. And, yeah. Because yeah. that could be quite stressful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a question. I'm curious to know. Have you been arrested before? Oh, no, I've never been arrested. I love that. No, I've never been arrested. I love I've that. seen friends get arrested. Mm -hmm. Me too. Traumatizing, yeah, but I've never, I've never been arrested. That no. can be quite scary, especially yeah. when they want you to help them. Right, right, right. And it's like, well, hold on, like, now. Yeah. can we call your mama or uh, something? Yeah, like, I was in one stressful situation. I had to call her mom, and her mom was ooh. so pissed. Her mom thought it was like our fault. Uh -huh. Like we got stopped, we got stopped in traffic. She wasn't even driving, but she went to jail. What? So what does that tell you? What Somebody was probably cutting up. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. The driver not cutting up, but here you are cutting up. <laughs> Sometimes like, you, know, you just gotta chill. Yeah. So she went to jail. So yeah. damn that sucks. Like you weren't even driving. You, you got, weren't even driving. You went to jail on a traffic yeah, stop. Yeah. I'm in the back seat. She got tasered and all. It was crazy. <gasps> no, that's scary. Yeah. It was Ooh. a it was a white lady cop like. The lady was was trying to be calm about the situation, but my friend at the time, she, was, was, she was cutting up. It was mm -hmm. like, girl, this is not Black Lives Matter. Stop. It's not that type of situation. Yeah. You're just doing too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. My next question. How important is sex in a relationship for you? Um, Are you really in deep thought? <laughs> Now this I next question will be sex real sex like funny. three times a year, so I really just don't care. But in a relationship, in a relationship, mm, not just all the time. I mean, I guess it's important because I, I definitely want to be sexually attracted to my mate. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's important. What would your most recent sex partner say about your sex skills? Oh wow, <laughs> <laughs> honesty, honesty is key here at Cocktails. <laughs> I think he I think he would praise my sex skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he would, you know, yeah. I got that mermaid. Come on, mermaid. You showed out for that one of the three times, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, I sure oh. did. <laughs> <laughs> three times a year? You are a good woman. Yeah. yeah. I only had sex or three times last year. Yeah. Three. Oh my are goodness. you just not a sexual person or you're just I'm really, very sexual. You're really I just picky haven't, on who you allow. Yeah. Inside. I just haven't had that's it. Good. I just haven't had it. Yeah. That's a great way to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my to, my last sexual my last sex partner was amazing though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you miss it? Yeah, he was my handyman. Mm. <laughs> like for real? Yes. Wow, it's like straight out of the porno. <laughs> Not really. And he like he laying the pipe and he could fix the pipe. Like Girl. we, I love a man who can yeah, fix something. Child. If you can't fix yeah. it, he what was reupholstering my furniture. Then he was reupholstering my Gucci. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, but he had been my handyman for like three years, and then like I recently. How do you keep a handyman for three years? Because like when I was in my apartment, like uh -huh. he would come in and like do stuff for me. Oh, like okay, if I okay. wanted my TV hung, mm -hmm, or if mm -hmm. I wanted to like have an extra like glamour mirror or whatever, like he would do all that. But then when I Convenient. moved into my house in September, he I needed a whole lot of stuff in mm -hmm. the house, so he was just spending way more time. I didn't even really used to look at him like that. Mm -hmm. I never really talked to him until. When I moved into the house, he was building my closet for me. I'd be like, you know, you want something to eat? Like, because he's there for, for <laughs> he's there a minute. For an extended like, period of time. Like, damn, you know. I know you're hungry. Right? Like, and you, you smell want... me cooking this yeah, good food. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So, like, stuff like that. So then, like, it just was nice. And then um, one day, like, we were having a conversation and I asked him, like, what his favorite meal was. Mm -hmm. He told me what his favorite meal was. So the next time he showed up. I made him his favorite meal. So I know that's right. okay. So at that Set point, where you were kind of like he kind of cute. Let yeah, yeah I was like, "Oh, you cute." Now, yeah. can you Back cook? Muscles. I cook. Like I'm not a cook, but mm -hmm. I feel like if you if you want something, I'll make it for you. Like mm -hmm. he loved it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'll make it for you. But like, do I cook all the time? I mean, I cook quick meals. Mm -hmm. You know, but I could definitely be better. Mm -hmm. But anything you ask me to do, like if you want something, I'll make it. It's gonna be good. You sound like a catch. Mm -hmm. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to get more into that in a second, but we are going to move on to weird sex really quick. You said a man is not a necessity, a man is a luxury, like dessert. 
<laughs> yeah. Man, it's absolutely not necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. Now, I had to print out some notes. I see. You got a whole little workbook printed I out. I do because, y'all, somebody was cutting up and showing their ass. Oh. I don't even know where I put it. But let me tell y'all about what happened. This is not a story in Florida. This is hmm. a story in my home state of Louisiana, down in St. Landry Parish, which is, uh, the city is Opelousas. It's like near Lafayette. It's where, it's a lot of fine people down there, and it's a lot of good food down there, and I could just see how people get into trouble. So, St. Landry Parish police chief got himself into a little kerfunkle. He was in, uh, he was cheating on his wife. His really wife cheating. is a police officer, too. She works down at the station, and so does the woman he was having the affair with. Of course. So the three of them work there together. Well, he's been married to this woman for years and years, and he's been having this affair with the other person, who is obviously a subordinate, because he's the damn police chief. He had to issue a statement that they put on Facebook because that's where mess goes down is Facebook. Yeah. The police station put it on Facebook. Mm. It's there. I'm going to pop it up on the screen so y'all can see it with the link so you can click and read. But uh, what happened was he was at the mistress's home. The wife decided she was going to go over there and confront the situation. Oh, she knew about the mistress. Well, she found out. Oh, Lord. Everybody's a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's strapped. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's important to oh. know. That's mm. important to know. Oh. So she gets there and she's like, bitch, why the fuck you fucking with my husband? Like, I know he fine. He was handsome. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can be fucking on him, you know? And so she comes out and she's upset. She pulls her gun out and she shoots. But the husband is in between and he's like trying to stop the bullet. Now, never no, in history stop have I heard of somebody stop a bullet with their hand. He stopped the that bullet. Made me thought he, he didn't was... stop the bullet. The bullet went through his hand and hit his wife in the arm. And so then the woman, the mistress, who decided that she was going to take her gun out and shoot people, she tries to clean up the evidence. The husband and wife take themselves to the hospital to get treated and everything. She tries to clean up the evidence. She ends up turning herself in because it's like, that's the damn police chief. His wife, who's a police officer, y'all doing all trouble. this. Yeah, everybody's in trouble. So, well, actually everybody wasn't in trouble, but she turns herself in. She got out on a $22,000 bond. She is on leave right now. The leave? Leave. The, <laughs> you know they take care of them people. During the investigation. <laughs> and then the police chief is also on leave. Now he didn't do anything other than having the affair. Right. Um, he's on leave and the wife, I don't know what she's doing. She's probably plotting something. I just hope she doesn't end up on snap because they got two little kids and it's just a mess. But he wrote a whole thing. He apologized to the community and everything else. But it's like, why are you doing all this? Why don't you do this in the first place? And why do y'all continue to fuck your coworkers? Girl, Especially I don't at the get police it. station. I don't get why it. do you continue to cheat? Especially when stakes are really high and you've now gotten to a marriage. Like the older we get, why are we still cheating? It doesn't end well. Like literally ever, but not just that too. Like like you said, y'all all a strap. Yeah, like, <laughs> somebody could have died. Men, yeah, like men really don't be scared of nothing. That's oh, why nothing. Yeah, that's why we need to shoot them And then them it's more. like she's trying to shoot. What if you didn't put your hand there? What if your wife was in a different position and she shot and she didn't get shot in the arm or something where it's just yeah. an injury? What if her face got fucked right. up or she died? Right. Now you got to explain to the kids what happened to because your because you couldn't keep your little pecker inside your pants and you want to just be. Dabbling into everybody. Now your mama's dead. Everybody else is oh going to jail. Did and now they got to live in me. Did you see that house. clip that went viral of this dude in the car talking crazy? And he was telling women, like, you know, cheating isn't a reason to leave yeah. your mm -hmm. man. Like, I didn't you know, see this, but it sounds like the same thing yeah, they keep trying to convince yeah, us yeah. of. Yeah. Okay, so because I was going to ask you, I was like, are you one of those women where it's like if a man cheats on you, even if you really love him, you can forgive him and you can try to work on it and understand that being faithful is hard for men? I've I've, I've left a man just because I thought he was cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. No evidence, no, no nothing. Yeah, I, I thought he was cheating. Mm -hmm. Like, this is back when I was in college. I was like, mm, it's something ain't right. Like, he wasn't as fresh as he used to be. Mm -hmm. We're a little musty now. I'm mm -hmm. like, uh, -uh Carlos used to wear fresh cologne and stuff. What this happened? was chappy. What's going on? So I just, I left. And literally six months later, he moved in with another girl. Mm. Now, see, I was right. Now, I was. I'll be this. right. So I don't got I'll time be right to be. Too. I'm not gonna be going through your phone. Going, no, I'm not doing, doing that. All the if I feel it, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I wouldn't say that I would 
always automatically leave because somebody cheated. Not that I think cheating is okay. I don't think it's so hard for men to stay faithful. I don't believe that. Like, why is it harder for you than it is for me? I got options, nigga the fuck. Okay. But um, I just think it depends on the circumstances. But I wouldn't tell my man that. <laughs> he's not about this to... episode but remember episode yeah, 377 right. I think it's yeah, crazy too when women I was, I was drunk that's what I'll say <laughs> I think it's crazy too when women be like yeah baby you know if you're gonna cheat just cheat respectfully I don't understand what that means or just cheat with a means. condom or just, no no because it's still no. cheating if this is something that is outside of the realms of what we've decided is okay in our relationship then it's cheating, so there's no respectful way to no, do it. There's um, no respectful way. And you, you to me, it's like the lying part. It's like, bro, we are 30 something years old. Some of y'all 50 something years old, 60 something years old. What we what? are AARP candidates. If you okay. need old as something fuck. else, why if you want something this? else, why not say that on the front end? Yeah. Instead of doing it on the back. Because it's also like you never know. Everybody makes their own rules for their relationships, mm -hmm. right? And some people truly are okay with open relationships, and some people are even scared to bring it up because they think the other person won't yeah. be okay. Why not just say it? And if this person isn't doing what you want, then maybe you should leave. Well, not maybe. You should leave. I feel like we say that every episode. Yeah. All yeah. the time. And it's going to keep happening. Yeah. But... I don't have I don't have the patience for it. I don't know. I've never been married. I don't know how people that are Me married neither. stay with people that are cheating. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I will say this. I feel like, because I don't know what I would do in a marriage, but I feel like in a boyfriend-girlfriend situation, like I'm leaving yeah. you. Mm -hmm. In a marriage, I feel like if I'm staying, That's there are going to be some diary repercussions. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just leave it at that because I don't want this episode to be used as evidence. I feel you. We <laughs> want to do that to you, girlfriend. Moving on. Thank you guys for sending in that weird sex story. I really appreciate it. And y'all stay safe down there in Opelousas because everybody is down there fucking each other. What, what is called Opelousas? Opelousas. No, I ain't going there ever. But shout the out town to name Opelousas. Of course they Opelousas. get in the There's story. a lot of funny sounding names down Lord. there in the swamps. All New Year's resolutions don't have to do with eating better, making mm -hmm. more money, changing up who you are. like Losing those are, weight. Those are all great, but they're also very difficult. One that is very easy is just changing how you smell. Period. Let's smell better in 2024. Um, and the way that you start, an easy way to start is by using Lumi Whole Deodorant. That is a whole body, your whole body, not just your pits. You mm -hmm. can put it in the creases of your arms, the backs of your knees, the crevice of your butt cheeks if you have a big old booty. If you smell a little bit in the crevice <laughs> of your vagina, you can rub it in between that so that you can smell better. Change your life by smelling better. If you stink. It's, Change it. Yeah, you don't have to smell like that, sis, or bro. Uh, Lumi was created by an OBGYN, and like I said before and several times, it is a whole body deodorant developed to help you smell better no matter where you live, where you are, or who you are. You should not be out here stanky in these streets. Absolutely not. Kiki, when we first started using Lumi, what were your first thoughts of a whole body deodorant? I was a little concerned. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. I was like, a whole body deodorant. How is this going to work? Am I going to be musty? Will I smell like a pack of onions? But fortunately, I wasn't smelling like a pack of onions. And I actually felt very refreshed. I was pleasantly surprised by Lumi. Now, you know, Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day long, mm -hmm. um, thanks to its one-of-a-kind pH-optimized formula, and they've got over 275,000 five-star reviews to show for it. Make the switch to Lumi, you guys. It is absolutely worth it, and this year will be all about head-to-toe confidence. No salads required. You can just smell great no matter what you're eating, no matter what's going on. Just smell great. It's going to... It's really going to make the change that you need it to make. Trust yeah, a little us. Thank you, Sal. The mm -hmm. Lumi Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick of deodorant, cream tube deodorant, which is my favorite, mm -hmm. two free products of your choice, like the mini body wash or the deodorant wipes. I love, I love the, the wipes. Deodorant. The wipes are my favorite. I hand them out to everybody because y'all be funky. And I always tell the New York girls, our New York girls, because we know you have to get on the subway. You go to work at 6 a.m. and you don't get back hiking home it until around. 11 p.m. And you need to be smelling good. So get those wipes and you get free shipping. You guys, try out Lumi. Um, as a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off 
a Looming Starter Pack with code COCKTAIL, C-O-C-K-T-A-L-E-S, at LumiDeodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit LumiDeodorant.com and use code COCKTAILS. Yes, absolutely. Control body odor anywhere with at LumiDeodorant and get $5 off your starter pack. That's over 40% off of your starter pack. And you just use code cocktail, C-O-C-K-T-A-L-E-S, at LumiDeodorant.com. That's L-U-M-E-D-E-O-D-O-R-A-N-T.com. Thank us later. Well, before we get to know Jesse Wu a little bit better, I do want to make sure we make some announcements. Make sure you guys join Patreon. Kiki and I have been doing really well with putting bonus content up every Monday. Period. Every Monday. Um, I will be doing an episode with an astrologer. She does. She re, she's read my chart and my boyfriend's chart. And so Ooh. we're going to post it on Patreon. And oh, it's nice. kind of juicy. So make sure you guys go to patreon.com slash cocktails. Uh, my cousin and... What was her name? Shay Primus? Primus? Primus. She came oh, on. The matchmaker. The matchmaker had. from Upper Recently. Echelon Match Matchmaking. And it was really expensive to book her. But her and my cousin are actually doing a pre-Valentine's Day event. It's Ooh, called nice. the Coleman Love Speed Dating Event. So it's February 13th at 7 p.m. We'll put the link in the bio. Um, make sure you guys check it out if you don't have anything to do for Valentine's Day and you're a Delta or a Q because clearly it's for Deltas and Qs but oh. y'all go check it out and now we all get to know oh Just wait to- one more thing I wanted to remind you guys there's only three spots left for the uh, trip to St. Lucia we're going to St. Lucia from oh, nice. February 15th through the 20th I'm really excited I about it I love St. Lucia I have never there's been a lot of Haitians is- there oh really mm. they're Creole they speak Creole and French I cannot wait to get there it looks beautiful um, I've never it been does. there it does. it's beautiful uh, but if you guys are interested go to timvacationdays.com and if you miss out, if it's all sold out, there will be plenty of more trips this year. But check the links in the description box and can't wait to see you guys. Okay, Jesse. This week, we are talking about red flags or deal breakers. Okay. So we came up with a bunch of different types, some funny, some serious scenarios or situations. And uh-huh. it's like, is this a deal breaker? Is this just a red flag and we can maybe, we could we could get through this. We okay. could talk about it and I could probably get over it and know this is just one of the things I got to accept you as whatever you have. Like okay. if someone's late all the time, some people might be like, I'm not dealing with no late. You can't yeah. be late. You late all the goddamn yeah, no. I can't do this because yeah. why is you late now? The kid's going to be late and now we late for the wedding. <laughs> um, so <laughs> Sounds like you've been there. <laughs> right. My mom was actually a really late person. I used to be so mad That's at her annoying. when I was a kid. I mean, we would get our hair done. She would drop me and my sister off to get our hair done and we would be the kids just stuck at the hair salon. Like, basically, oh, her name was Miss Sylvia. And that's Sylvia. why it's the rules for no kids the, now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but but Miss Sylvia was such a sweet lady. She would give us snacks. She, I mean, my mom would drop us off maybe at like 3 o'clock and not come back to pick us up till 7. Uh-uh. Now that I'm adult, an <laughs> no, adult, ma'am. I realize I think she just needed some no. alone time. Sometimes, yeah. And that was the time. And she probably had talked to Miss Sylvia about it. But we were like, where is our mom? Right. I don't want to go home. After school programs, my mom's getting the late fee. Period. I don't play with lateness. She just needed that extra 15. Okay. That little, she was about to have a mental Lord. breakdown probably. So um, before we do that, though, is Will your real last name? No. What? How did we get this, Jesse? When my sister was like, is she Asian? I was like, no. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny because usually the Asian spelling is W. You, mm-hmm. but I recently met someone from China that is it was W O O, and he was like, "Oh, so are you Asian?" I was like, "No, I I got it from Ruby Woo, the Mac lipstick." Mm. Oh, so I used that's to a like, good lipstick. Yeah, so I used to like mix it up with other colors or whatever, and I'd be like, I'd be like, "Oh, I'm wearing the Jesse Woo," and mm-hmm. then I put that as my Instagram name, and it just it, it just stuck. That's, oh, that's cute. cute. That's yeah. actually really cute. And yeah. also, before we get into the topics, just in case anyone does not know who you are, even though almost everyone does, we might have some foreigners. Will you <laughs> tell? <laughs> will you like let our listeners know like who you are, what you're known for, where um, you started, what you're doing now? Oh uh, well, my name's Jesse Wu. I, I'm known to say I'm your sister. Um, I am a co-host of This Nation, which is a nationally syndicated talk show. Come I co-host on. that with um the Brat, Head Crack, Tanner Thompson, um, um, Gary with the T. Um, I also do a lot of different uh partnerships and hostings for like different platforms like BET. I did the Grammys last year, I did Essence last year. I do a lot of content creator creating. Um, I sing sometimes and you have I have a beautiful like, voice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And I have um my YouTube channel that I've been taking serious for the last year and it's it's grown, so it's doing really That's well. That's hard work. Yeah, it's it's doing really well. Um so yeah, I feel like different people might know me for and different you things. Act. 
Oh my God, I act. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm an actress. <laughs> um, and shoot, I gotta film an audition when I leave here. Um, but yeah, so I do a lot of different things. Is and this the life you knew you wanted? Yeah, I always you... knew I was gonna have a microphone. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. most of my family members, you know, when you're Haitian, they tell you, you have to be doctor, you have to be lawyer. Mm -hmm. You have to be in gym, yeah. I was like, girl, I'm not doing none of that. You're like, mama, I'm going to sing. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm going to have a microphone, baby. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing none of that uh, doctor shit y'all be doing. But was your mom, mom like, no, you're yeah, not. Yeah, my mom was like, yeah, my mom was not supportive. Mm -hmm. How long did it take for them to come around, if they came around, your family? Uh, I feel like like cousins and aunties were more receptive. I like, like the outer family members mm -hmm. were more receptive quicker. Mm -hmm. I feel like. I don't really get in. A, I don't really get support from like my parents. Like Still? my no, that's crazy. You know, Do they live my, in Atlanta? Well, my mom is in Miami. My father is still in Canada. Mm -hmm. My, you know, my father, my mom and my father, they met each other in church. My grandmother had a huge Kojic ministry. It was the biggest mm -hmm. Haitian Kojic ministry in like the eighties and nineties in Montreal, Canada. Mm -hmm. So I come from a very um, churchy background. Um, a background where like we weren't even allowed to wear pants as women. Like you had to cover your head all the time. Like so, it's like my mom, my dad was a preacher. But it's funny because my dad was a preacher Sunday mornings, but Sunday night he was slanging rocks. Like he, he was, was acting crazy. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean. So it's like it was really weird. <laughs> and then um, my mom, she was a nurse. She's a registered nurse and. She would come home sometimes and like her nursing books would be gone because my daddy done sold it. He sold <laughs> so, the nursing books too. He sold the nursing book, child. And sold the TV. Like it's just, it was just really crazy. But like I come from a very like churchy background. Mm -hmm. And when I grew up with my mom in Miami, I went to church each and every day. Like it was like to the point where I was like, damn, like I kind of hate God, bro. Like <laughs> this is I'm like, I'm that. tired of what this. What is we shit. doing? Like, what, you know? So. Me when I started my journey online, like I was doing a lot of Haitian content, and I'm very outspoken. I'm very vulgar, so that was not something that my mom was a fan of. Mm -hmm. Like to this day, like she does, she's not a fan of some of the things that I say. So it's not like I don't really get support from from my parents. And I think my father, I went ten years without seeing knowing where my dad was. Mm -hmm. So by the time I met met up with my dad again, I wasn't Jessica anymore. Mm -hmm. I was Jesse. And then so it was like, he told me, he was like, so if you're not here to give me no money. <laughs> what? Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, That's child. So, hurt. you know, I need therapy. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, But yeah, no, like, so my parents, I think they got their own stuff that mm -hmm. they're working through. So mm -hmm. Who was the person in your life that like, if there was this person that you were like, I don't, I'm. I you make me feel like I can make these things happen. I'm not about to be the doctor or the nurse or whatever y'all oh, want me to do. Oh, I have my aunt uh, fiddling. She, the aunties. Yeah. I feel like I would be that auntie where the kids be like, yeah. Auntie Medina did it, yeah. and so can I. Yeah, she would always tell me since I was small. She'd be like, Come to New York, Jesse. Come to you to New York. Come follow your dream. Come to New York. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> like in 2016, I had uh, been finishing my master's degree, and I was like, All right, I'm gonna come to New York. She's like, Come to New York. Come for you come to New York and like for that first year it was hell on earth mm -hmm. like you know like trying to figure things out in New York but she was very very supportive mm -hmm. I, I don't think that I would be doing any of this if it wasn't for her like she was like very she's that one person I think who's always been very positive to me mm -hmm. so yeah that's beautiful it's yeah. good that you have somebody like that yeah Everybody know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> diving into the juicy stuff. Red flag or deal breaker? And again, red flag is you will still keep moving forward with them, but you are kind of like, mm, this is noted. Deal breaker mm -hmm. is nah, nigga. This okay. Good. So the first one that I have is he, you, there's someone that you meet, you like him, he's attractive, he has all the things, but he does not like celebrating any holidays. No. He has, and he has <laughs> oh a woke God, reason no. why. He's like, these are man-made. No. A woke reason? Yeah. My last oh, relationship gosh. was like that. Really? Yes. What would he say? Child, I remember Christmas was around the corner. I'm, and he's like, you know, I don't celebrate that. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking... He lying, like, <laughs> are you, you know, a Jehovah's I'm Witness? Like, Why you no, don't celebrate? He wasn't Jehovah's Witness. He wasn't Islamic. He wasn't Jewish. He just don't want to celebrate. He was just a nigga. <laughs> 
No, cool, don't here's celebrate. my question. How long were you with him? Like, how many chances did you, were you like, because I feel like sometimes when men do this, women are like, I can deal with this. And then you realize we it's like. We were together for like, a, for like, I would say like probably 10 months. Okay. So y'all got to experience quite a few holidays. Yeah. But I'm like, Christmas? Christmas? Now this is where the so buck When stops. I woke up on Christmas <laughs> day, I'm like, because like my friends was no like. music my, playing? Nothing. My friend's like, no, he ain't going to do you like that. Because he was very sweet. He was very giving. Like, very sweet, very thoughtful. He cooked for me. He was a good man, mm -hmm. Savannah. But <laughs> Christmas came. I'm like, okay, I know this nigga lying. Like, I'm going to wake up to gifts. And I woke up. I'm like, oh. And he, he was like, day. yeah, you wanna, what you trying to do Just today? You want to watch a Netflix movie? Like, I kept, you know that episode of Different World where, like, Whitley... Was like she just knew Dwayne was planning her she party. Just yeah. knew it. And she was going to every room like <laughs> that was me. Ready. That was me. I was like mm, nothing. Oh. Hmm. And you know, I feel Nothing. like women, we do that a lot. Men will say what the fuck is up. And we be I'm like, he's just playing yeah, girl. No, literally. Literally. To be quiet. literally. Huh. I'm like, not even a card? Would a would a would a would a gift card? A, a Christmas, little Christmas hat? cookie? Something? Are we gonna have dinner? Not no milk and cookies. Nothing. Those oh, things. Wow. Taking notes of if you're okay with literally celebrating holidays or not. I'm talking about birthdays to yeah. Christmas. If that is important to you, you got to stick by it because you will have a horrible life with someone if you yeah. decide to marry this person and they're yeah. like, I'm not celebrating any holidays. Oh. And then you think about your kids and you're like, God, right. the kids going to be weird. Because Mike, I, I grew up like that. Oh my, I had beautiful I holidays. You didn't no. celebrate holidays? No, no Christmas trees. Thanksgiving, we always went to somebody else's house. Mm -hmm. Wow. My mama, we did not celebrate holidays. And do you remember as a kid being like, I'm gonna, when I grow up, I'm going to... I'm, I'm like, I can't wait to leave this house. <laughs> <laughs> My dad wouldn't let me have a dog because he was Muslim. And he, I remember him being like, um, he was a very loose Muslim. Though, but he was like, we not eat pork <laughs> and we not have no animals. And I love animals, like to this day. And I remember being like, God, that is pork? not fair. Like, why can't I have a dog? Like, I want a dog. She didn't even care about the pork, girl. She didn't even care about the pork. I just wanted a dog. dog. And oh then there was God. one specific year, my sister, I never knew this until a few years ago. Mecca was like, yeah, I pulled mom aside. And I was like, what type of woman are you? So Ooh. let this man, even though he's our dad, Period. tell you <laughs> that your child wants a dog and she can't experience Period. having a dog. She was like, mom, you have a voice. <laughs> and my mom was like, Yo, she you know what? I do have a voice. I do. That We're getting the fucking yeah. dog and I got a dog. Was that your older sister? Was she your older sister? She's my older Period. sister. She's like the, the manager old, of the yep, family. She's yep. like, Mom, this is ridiculous. I'm the oldest of four. I, I know that energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Sometimes mm -hmm. you got to speak up for the, the other Come siblings. On. Like, what yeah. the fuck is going yeah. on around like, here? The, this is for the betterment of this family. For, right. My dad loved it. We need the dog. a dog immediately. Did and he I like got, the dog? He loved it. Yeah, he, nah, he was still like, okay, little dog, but he did love the dog. <laughs> the dog got ate by a coyote and we were all sad. Lord. I did not know that's what happened. You got ate by what? A coyote. Oh my God. I did not know. What? My mom let him out the house. They never told us that. All that protesting just to get the dog ate. Okay. I he got that ate. Dog. Oh. It's a sweet little okay. dog. Okay, now you were saying earlier you wanted to be married. What if you got with somebody who says that they don't believe in marriage? We can have a long-term relationship, but we ain't doing no paperwork, ain't no courthouse, church, no Lifetime that, no partnership, actual baby. marriage. No. That's a no for me too, dog. No. Like, That's a hell no. That sounds no like for no. bullshit. No. Sounds like you're already up to something, yeah. and we just need a break. Up. I mean, but you know what? He might be a Stedman. I mean, look at Oprah and Stedman. But don't I? I. But if I'm works. Oprah, that's one thing. And if I make that decision, that's one thing. But you can't make that decision. I think Stedman, Stedman is very depressed. I you think, think so? I do. I think he might have the things, and Oprah does have the money. But I feel like they in that green room, oh, no. greenhouse, acting so. up. We've he never right. heard anything from Stedman. Right? He probably we don't even know what Stedman likes to eat. Stedman can never speak up. He can Nothing. never speak up. You he can we speak in them classes that he teaches or whatever he does. Period. He and that's it. There. I think he might like it. He ain't he got might no be podcast like really or nothing. He ain't got no nothing. microphone. Yo, no, Stedman is trapped. He's trapped. <laughs> He's trapped. And literally <laughs> played twice, Stedman. Some men are happy playing the back. And they just want to like let their woman shine. And that's a beautiful thing if you can okay, find period. it with Oprah. Remember, he ain't no damn trap. Remember when the when the pan panoramic had happened, <laughs> Oprah was like, "Yeah, you quarantining us. We not quarantining together." Y'all remember that? Yeah. yeah, he was in that little back house, but it was and a he, little back house mansion. Period. Yeah. He was faithful in that back house mansion. So I mean, is he trapped? I don't think he's trapped. And if he is trapped, that's a great place to be trapped okay. at in a back house mansion. Mm -hmm. Oprah? They got fresh vegetables. She's always getting her little harvest listen, basket together. Listen, they back there eating what, what all types of vegetables I ain't never heard of. She and always they just look something. healthy. They're not yeah. full of pesticides right. and all the other stuff that's yeah. in the vegan 
videos I keep watching on yeah. Netflix. Mm-hmm. I think it would have to be like a Stedman situation. I don't know, but I feel like, no, we... What you mean? What you mean a lifetime partnership? This ain't a what? This is not a movie. You're not a this dog. Real life. Yeah. <laughs> like the fuck yeah. is going on But here? you know, a lot of these I that are curated, okay. it's like people that I personally know are like really going through some of these things, and I always like question myself. Again, at the big age that we're at, nobody's perfect, and we all do make mistakes, and you'll continue to make mistakes, but you hope that you learn from them. And I always am like, when you date somebody who from the jump says they don't want to get married, yeah. From the jump. From the jump. And there are men that are very vocal about that. Yeah. So that's a big thing. That's and a I think big that's thing. a hard one that people typically don't change their minds mm-hmm. on. There's always Especially gonna men. be a few examples. Mm-hmm. Just like having kids. Yep. That's another big one. Like yep. if somebody tells you they don't want to have kids, don't count I'm your you. uh, bets on them changing their minds. Because you just that's don't. a major commitment. Marriage is a major commitment. And you'll have a miserable life and now you're gonna resent your partner. And it's really not even their fault, it's yours. Listen to people when they tell you what it is. I'm telling you. Okay, the next one. He's still in touch with his most recent ex. For what? Oh, they share a dog. Jesse. They share a dog together. Huh? They have a dog. They have joint custody of the yeah. dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just what? adopted a dog, and that's why my dog is my damn dog. Yeah. Well, not that I got a man, but my dog is my dog, and it ain't going to be nobody else's dog but mine. I'm a single mother to the end because if Period. It, no. Period. We just got joint custody of a dog. Excuse me? No. I did have joint custody with an ex, but I wasn't that. I was like, take him. So who? Oh, right. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. I was just about to say. I get another fucking dog. Yeah, he I didn't was want this damn Like <laughs> I took my dog and he took the dog that was, yeah. you know, his. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what the fuck we talking about? Yeah, like, take why them. are you still in contact with your ex? Over a damn dog. That sounds like an excuse. It does. Woo, y'all. People don't be out here being honest. Okay, mm-hmm. you go on a date with this man. So y'all aren't really, you, you, don't, you don't have that much time invested. It's a first date. He doesn't ask you what you want. He doesn't ask you what you like. He just immediately orders for you oh. when the waitress comes. Oh. He's like, she's going to have a dry Chardonnay and she's going to go ahead and have the filet mignon medium well with the mashed potatoes and the white gravy. White gravy? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, I yeah. Mm. Red flag or is that a deal breaker? Are we going to assume you he's know, a controlling? I've been, I've been on a date with a man before that was like, like he's, let me take you to this restaurant and I know what's good on the menu. So he ordered it. That's better. An introduction just... to I'm going to order for you is sexy. Yeah. I love it's like, that. Ooh, yeah. okay, leader. Right. I see you, King. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know? I see you flexing. And I right. like, that's a healthy flex. Exactly. I, I would like that. Now, I don't do... Uh, I think... Let me let me order my drink, though. Because mm-hmm. like, I, I, don't, I don't do Chardon... Uh, a dry Chardonnay. Well, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so to wine. be honest, I know it's a wine, but I don't know. Like, I, I'm not really a wine girl. It's gonna be strong, and you're not gonna like it. Okay, yeah. When the I'm, man I'm ordered for you, did you like it? Yeah, I like that. Like, t- yeah, definitely. Did you like the food that he ordered? Yes, because he he was a chef. He mm. was a chef, so he knew good things. He was like, yeah. He had we're, we're, yeah, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get that. I'm like, ooh, my coochie was so wet. Like, I was like, don't you love it yeah. when your coochie get wet and it's not even about sex? Exactly. <laughs> like, like oh, we eating. Yeah, it be throbbing. Mine right. be throbbing. Yeah, it's like just ooh, fighting ooh, itself. Ooh, you know ooh. what I'm saying? And it's just because we ordering food. Can we pass this to go? Right. <laughs> Do you have a type, Jesse? No, my friends will say I don't have a type. No, they've seen me date chubby, skinny, tall, short, mm-hmm. athlete, banker. Uh, Publix manager, janitor. They seen me do. <laughs> they've seen do you me have do a up. favorite of the of the different types that you have dated? Not that you would exclude wow. the others, but maybe just like a favorite, I have a favorite, or a few favorite qualities or careers. Mm, I don't know. I never thought about that. Do you have a immediately no? I can't date that. Immediately, mine is no. lawyers. I can't date Ooh. a lawyer. It's just too much. I think about you know you- what cops. Yeah. I went through a cop phase. I don't know what it when I first so moved to yeah, when I first moved to New York, I just was getting a lot of cops. I don't know what it was. I don't know why they just felt like, I don't know, maybe they felt like I was frisky. I don't know what it was, child. <laughs> Not it frisky. was one cop, child. It was one cop that I was like in deep light with. And I forget where I met him at. I met him at a bar. I was sitting at a bar by myself eating and we just sparked conversation. And um he did he ever take me out on a date? He was always like giving me an excuse for. Was whatever. he married? 
He was single though. He was single. Or he was, was he always working he, security and telling you to come work? Because <laughs> that's another one. No, he, he was one. an actual cop. He was an actual cop. So, I don't but they know. pick up them side jobs. You know, yeah, how they gotta true. have the cops. That's the true. Club. That's true. I never. Bro, really, come I don't see know. me at such and such. Maybe he you was were working, the, nigga. Damn. Yeah. Or did he not look good outside of his uniform? No, I he looked cop. good. Like when okay. I met him, it, it, we were both eating at a at a bar by okay. ourselves. So mm-hmm. he looked. He was very handsome. But I forget why. He kept giving me no. You know what? We did go out to eat one night, and it was nice. And the next time, he was like, "Oh, let me let me cook for you." Mm. We all know what that yeah, means. Yeah, let me cook for you. So, anyways, you know, New York is an adventure. Like to get home, I don't and, know how y'all date. New oh York. my god! So, like, my job was in uh, on Fourteenth Street, like in Manhattan. He lived in in Clinton Hill, I think. That was like almost downtown Brooklyn. And I Ooh. wanted, I wanted to go all the way home to change. But I was all the way in Flatbush, Brooklyn. So by the time I would have got to his house, it just was gonna be too much. So in my mind, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna hunch. I have no, no plans to hunch and or whatever. But so I get to his house or whatever, and this man said he had cooked or whatever. So I'm, I'm expecting a meal. Mm-hmm. Not a he snack. ordered a Uber Puschetti. Eats. I knew it. What? Why do y'all Puschetti keep telling people with... y'all gonna cook for them and cooking that yeah. shit? I do like Puschetti though. It was Puschetti. But that's not what you do. It wasn't spaghetti. Yeah. It was Puschetti. What's Puschetti? Like Bullshit. struggle. Like the oh, struggle. It was, it was like, like a sauce. Puschetti, yeah, with a little sauce, sauce and, from a jar. and then he thought he was being fancy. He put like three asparaguses on the side, child. I was like, who the fuck eats Puschetti with? Anyway, I was like, you know what? In my mind, that I was like, you know what? Upset. I done came all the way over here. So you know what? Because he was like putting the moves on me. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna let this man fuck. I don't care. That New York came all this yeah, way. You hot and sweaty and yeah. some loom media. And guess what? He had he had not, that he ate that nine to five cooch. He I was like, mm-hmm. hey, he ate it. Extra you seasoning, seasoning off extra seasoning and all. Ooh. I couldn't believe it. Well, <laughs> that's why he made that bullshit meal. He knew yeah, he wasn't eating. He exactly. was like, I got this in the yeah, bag. This, this word fine. to the people that are using this as a date. Let me cook for you. Come over and yeah. let me cook for you. You need to make sure you have a good meal to cook for somebody. Go yeah. on Instagram and find an actual simple recipe if you can't cook. Go but to classybase.com. Go to classybase.com. Get the you got the dollar recipes. Yeah. Y'all just got your you, meals that you can't make is the shrimp fettuccine alfredo. Don't nobody Don't do want that. that nobody shit. wants that. You yeah. can't make it's spaghetti, spaghetti even if you love spaghetti. You you got to do some Save sort of little later. roasted vegetable, a little baked chicken or something, something with a sauce that you make. Something. But you know what? That was my first and my last let me cook for you. I went on a date recently with a very fine uh, uh, African Spaniard and mm. you know he took me to he took me to this African to this Spaniard. he mm. sounds exotic very and spicy I was expecting more of the first date damn first date was a little tell us what it was it was a little Olive Garden-ish but it's like mm. I, don't, I don't mind but mm. it's like so we met up at the Battery the Battery has a whole bunch of nice restaurants so many places the Battery's too much for me for a first date I like to really? go somewhere where it's like we pull up and just go into the place okay yeah it was a lot it was a, a lot, lot. But oh, he didn't pick around. one of the like fly restaurants. He picked like boxcar or what's no, it called? No, it was like a little the Italian spot airport? where it was like families. Like it was kids oh. walking up to my table. Can I? I sell it cookies for twenty dollars. Oh hell no! Mm. Then he had a nerve. Oh, uh, can I cook? Can I cook for you the next? The next time, can I cook for you? I no, baby. I make a very good paella. You know, oh, I we didn't have paella today. Yeah, it's like baby. Is he, for, is he fresh? And is he like... Yeah, he was fresh from Spain. Okay, so he maybe don't know. Yeah, he was fresh from Spain, yeah. He was mm-hmm. fine, though. But it's like, I knew he was going to try to put that Spaniard dick on me. And I just... I just I'm tired. Are you going to go on another date with him or it ruined it? I think he ruined it. Mm. Y'all yeah. picked the right first date. It has nothing to do with money. It yeah, has everything to like, do with... That. We're at the battery. It's a whole bunch of things to do. Yeah, like you got to just... To do, to eat, to drink. And if you're activities. not good at picking restaurants, pick some sort of activity. Uh, they have so many Literally. different types of classes Girl. nowadays. I always tell everybody, if you don't know what the fuck to do, you can go to Pond City Market inside of the Citizen Supply. They have a perfume making class or a candle making class and you can get a snack Come if y'all decide on. this is going good and we want to get some food or a Come drink. On. I love Pond City Market. They, the love. Italian restaurant downstairs also does a bunch of different classes. They do like an Italian pasta 
making class every single week. You well, have to that. plan in advance mm-hmm. okay. because you it sells out very quickly, but you can do the class. There's uh, Cook's Warehouse does mm-hmm. cooking classes. Those are fun. I've been, a lot of places do classes and then there's a class and then they feed you, they give you drinks. Y'all have and then got that's like, to get like a, a memory. And then a lot of people don't do these things. And then even if it doesn't work out, she's going to remember you. Right. Yeah. And it's going to make your stock go right. up. A lot of the, the thing that is, the look, men are boring. They are. And they don't honestly, the shit, women are boring the too. I can't that's even what, just that's put what, it that's all what on he the was telling me too. Like he was telling me that a couple guys that I've I've gone on gone out with recently have said that mm-hmm. that women, women are boring. boring. But I'm like, to, in my experience, it's y'all. But the that's because you're boring. not boring. But I feel like a lot of people right now are boring because nobody is planning anything that's fun to show someone's yeah. personality. Or I say this all the time. Getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah, get yeah. a little bit out of your comfort zone. You going to just eat. Or have a drink. Yes, it's cool, but like now it's like we're elevating. I want to see what your personality is. You don't necessarily right. see that at dinner. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like, can you now, think outside the fed, box? But that's why I like the food classes because we can do something, we can talk, and then we can go do something else. I like to go to places where there's other stuff going on. Right. Like aside from Pont City Market and like Crog Street and all of those like food hall marketplaces. What's the one? Um, there's another one. Uh, the Works. Chattahoochee Love food. Love the word. They are really building up that little area. Yeah, and there's well, what, so what's much. What's going on with the hoochie? What's, what's, what's uh, <laughs> off of Chattahoochee, like How Mill and Chattahoochee, it's called the Works. Okay. So there's like a food hall where they have stuff like Crog Street and Pont City Market, mm. where there's all the food stalls inside. But then there's restaurants. Yeah. And there's classes. I went axe throwing there. That was really nice. fun. There's a place called you went. It's something where it's like. The next spot, your third oh, spot. Oh, your third spot. Oh, I heard about your that third one. spot. So That's they have cute. that. They have um, if you look, you can go online or you can look because they have signs everywhere. They have different things that happen, like outdoor concerts, outdoor movies, all of these different things. And if you are boring, you really need to take heed to what the fuck we saying. Because if you're yeah. boring, you need to have something fun to go on. If you don't like to talk, I if can't a stand with a nigga don't like to talk and you took me to dinner. Oh, you don't even want to talk. I'm oh, talking like this is God. the worst thing to do. You're not even talking. And don't take uh, me to the movies if you can't shut the fuck up. Because oh. I wanted to. I don't think movies are a good date until you really in it with right. somebody. Yeah, yeah, we I both have yeah. what we want to see, and you know, like we're good on not talking. But for the most part, I be talking. I want to talk and get to yeah. know you early on. So like, don't take me to the movies. And if you can't shut the fuck up, why did we come here? Yeah, I feel like movie dates are like for when y'all like. Y'all in the tongue in. kissing stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Thumb in the butt. You right, suck my booty right, hole. I might suck your dick in here. Yeah, well, right. I don't suck dick, so I just... That is crazy. I still think that's crazy that you don't suck dick. <laughs> At all? You just don't like how it looks? Or you have a bad gag reflex? It's just, why, just why, say, why are we sucking dick, guys? I like doing it because sometimes... Sometimes I like the reaction. Like, I really like when I suck a nigga's dick or fuck him. It's easier when I fuck them, honestly. So maybe I should stop sucking dick like you. <laughs> but when they have a reaction where it's like they're, it's almost like speaking in tongues and they yeah. just like, uh, yeah. I, I really like when they do that. And it's just like, wow, look at what that mouth did. <laughs> I love it. I love to see wow. the happiness too. Like if, if I really am caring about you, I mean, I did you suck other days. It don't matter like, if I care yeah. about you or not. I but just like, I the like reaction. to see like just the response and how like they just be so happy. The other day, like I sucked my nigga's dick and had sex with him. Like it was a whole, we had a really good little session. Aww. And his whole day, today he has just I was like you're so happy I was like is it because we had such great sex last night and I sucked your dick because I don't always suck dick sometimes yeah. it is tiring and my yeah. jaws are hurting yeah it's just yeah he was like wow maybe that dude like really released something I mean he was Pepper really just so dead. happy he was dancing he was like look at my flow and I was like yeah, what are you doing man not he, not he, he was dancing pop dancing. It. Yeah, he was pop locking <laughs> and I was Girl, like that man sold out <laughs> Like that song because when I do it, I do it now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next one. Would you got? Would, is this a red flag or a deal breaker? Okay. He has been to prison, mm. not jail. Prison. Prison. You don't even know why yet, but it comes up in conversation on a date, or just y'all already been dating. He's like, yeah, I've been to prison. I've been locked up in prison. What? <laughs> Some drug shit. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> where were you on the totem pole? <laughs> It's like What's the charge. Where you on? Where did you go to prison for January six crimes? Uh, like, did you go to prison for like parking tickets? Uh, like, well, you're not gonna go to prison oh, for that. Okay, you're just gonna okay, go to the true. county jail. Yeah. Um, so it's a red flag for you. It's not a deal breaker. I think I think it's a red flag. Yeah. Red flag, not deal breaker. Uh, you getting your freedom taken? I'm away? gonna check the like, charges first to make sure he's it not depends lying. on the charge. Well, not even the lying, but there are some charges where I don't care if you told the truth or lie. This shit ain't okay with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you know a little, uh, maybe a little Rico. We could figure that out. What if it was but- murder? But he was like, it was still drug uh- shit. Uh-huh. And it was part that day. This uh-huh. nigga was just uh-huh. in the wrong place at the wrong time. Nah. And- well, I was thinking 
more like sexual things are like deal breakers. That's right. The other stuff. We let, well, let's talk about. I mean, did your daddy try to kill your mama so you had to off your daddy? Right, I get it. Right, because sometimes I mean, you gotta kill your, your daddy. Mm. <laughs> sometimes I you gotta kill your daddy. If your daddy try to kill your mama, I mean, yeah. it's gonna be my mama or you. It's you. Right. You got yeah. Women are so understanding, and this so is weird. why God made us the yep. people that give birth. Exactly, to the, and the humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, so you're into dating him. Y'all have had sex before. You chilling is how sometimes you be comfy over there. You look ugly in front of him. That's how. That's where y'all okay. are at now. But you have seen skid marks in his undies. <laughs> A few oh, times, a few hell. times. No, a few oh, times you see. No, skin that's marks. a deal breaker. Maybe, let's say five times no, you saw a skid marks. No, no, and no. they were thick, creamy no. ones. So it's more hell than no. a skid. You just let the shit sit in no. there, and you wiped your. You let the the draws cling to the shit, and that's how you thought you was gonna wipe it. Come on now. You Red are not flag 13. or deal breaker. That's a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. I got to go. Would you tell him or would you just secretly? No, I got to go, baby. It's nothing to talk about. Check why I, yeah, why am I talking to you about this? I'm not your you mother. Know. Would you talk to somebody about that? I would talk to them about it. Why? But the only reason why- and what would you say? One time my boyfriend told me he saw skid marks in my drawers. Oh, that's why. I was so embarrassed. What? And I, why did you- I still why? It was five wait, times wait. it was one It time. was only once. And well, he would brings it up still to this day. No, this was last year. And he said that it looked- you guys, you were drunk? I don't know because I still- Maybe you were just drunk and so you didn't wipe good. And then I was like, could it- <laughs> I was like, could it have been like- You I don't use baby period. wipes? I, not or all the time. Maybe you were out in public. They don't be having baby wipes and you might have been out I of your personal wipe. I always bring baby wipes in my But in my what bed. about when you run out? Have you guys ever took taken the little dookie and like you you wiped and you wiped and you wiped and there was nothing else there? You wipe, you wipe, but there's nothing. But then, you, then you go you back to use the bathroom and you wipe and you're like, oh my gosh, how did cough? this get missed? Maybe you sneeze yes. a little bit or maybe you slid yes. out a and little I bit. And I think that's the type of day that it was. It was just like, I don't know if I was on a period and my booty was just moist a lot. Oh, it's like a little yeah, sharp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but the he brings it up. Accidents happen. Period accidents poop happen. But five is... times is not an accident. No, that's no. a choice. Yeah, no. Yeah. Now yours was, you know, it just happened. Yeah. If it happened five times, I think I would be like, oh, I think I would bring the draws out though, and me knowing uh, me, I'm gonna be like, "Baby, what we got going on? Do you have a problem?" I'm so concerned. I would just want to put it in his face. Smell this. Oh, you thought I was gonna no. watch this shit? What the fuck is this? And it's gonna turn into like a teaching moment. Oh my in god! In the most, I'm your mama, and you are the child. Take your possible. time in the bathroom. Show me how you wipe. Let's, oh, go. Let's go. I need to know because this ain't right, and ain't nobody how do told men you. Wipe? My oh, man wipes real men good. Don't. He goes, he goes front to back, okay. and then he he be in there doing a lot, and I'll be like, okay, you're good. Yeah, I think. come on now. Mm, yeah. Okay, he know. doesn't have any friends. You're dating him, and you realize red, he doesn't have any that's friends. A no, flag, that's a no, red flag, no. and it might be a that's deal, a deal breaker. breaker. Yeah, because it not... depends. Have you never had friends, or are you just in a transitional period? Because there are times where it's like, man, fuck these people. We're mm -hmm. not. We have grown out, uh, grown away from each other, and you don't really have no real friends. You, you met me right in the middle of friend fallouts. Okay. Yeah, you got some that's acquaintances. Different. And so it's like, okay, I need to story. You ain't got story. no work friends. You ain't got no buddies at work you go get a drink with. Because I'm not. Because yeah. that, that could be an acquaintance, not a friend. Okay. So that's what I would want to know. Like, what's going on? Are you just really a lone wolf? Because then I can't be nobody's everything. Mm -mm. Okay, y'all. And my friends are not your friends. Period. At all. We not doing that. He uh, he can't change a tire. Oh, hell No. Red flag or dead and that, that's the oh, men, that's the men of these of this generation. Hey, it's really sad. Like these, it's, they don't know how to change. I no can tire. change a tire, so they you can't, need to change a the tire. They can't put up no cabinet. They can't put up your TV. They can't your dresser. Do, oh my god. They might my be can't spice even. Rack. What do you call it when you spice the car up because it's dead? Uh, you spice the car up. You <laughs> talking about jump the car? Jump the car. <laughs> You yeah, spice your car up because I ain't never heard <laughs> really? nobody say it like that. You got it. I'm telling you, if you my man, well, you and I made a car. habit of this. Yeah. Every and man it, that I date, you know how to do like the this because the, the, you saw I'm talking about yeah. spice it up. And you, you got it. like you playing Nintendo 64. Yeah, you got it. I ended it. something with somebody in college over that because um, he needed his car jumped. I had jumper cables. He didn't. And uh, I was like, well, that's weird. Uh, uh, that's weird. But we in college, you know, whatever. I know uh, that. I know. But then when you didn't know how to do it. 
I'm oh. going to jump you so you can jump on out of my life because you got to go. Why I, do I, do. I know? And I, I made, I did, like I said, I would do with the draws. You need to get out here and watch this. This is where the black cords go. Oh, and this see, is where even the red, that. And then he's feeling bad and emasculated. And so then I had to turn right. it up. Because now, I didn't now feel now like he was like emasculated now. enough. But now I do want to say, I, I do feel bad for the men out there that if this does What? Good if, what's well, the thing? Just, if this, be, so if this becomes a clip and the men are going to get mad at us for saying this, going to be like, y'all cook? What is you? Yeah, we're going to be so mad. And I want to just point out, I realize as I get older and the men that I have met in life that don't know how to do these things, it is really sad because what it does is it's talking about your father. <laughs> and so it's like, that is really it. I'm or like, dang, it. I see, I know how deep this goes. So try not to get so upset about it. And you should watch a YouTube video and just learn how to do it because yeah. these are things that like, it's a deal breaker for me. Yeah. If we Here's the thing. get stuck on the side of the road and I, I don't oh, know how to change a tire. No, I don't want to learn either. either. The only person that I would give this is a red flag and not a deal breaker is if you have been born and bred in New York where ca- you never had a car, your mama ain't had no car. You that's been on the true. Subway. Well, you know, I like you the seven men anyway, so that's not right. my That's not really my, my thing neither. But just in case, that would be understood. But at some point, like when you have a car, like I learn because I have a car. And so if you have one, there are certain things that you should know and you should be able to pull out your device and do a quick Google search on below so I don't know that you don't know. It's going to come up so quick. But what if he yeah. breaks your vehicle? Like he trying to do it? No, in- you need to read the instructions first. Don't break my damn yeah, vehicle yeah. because you don't know what the fuck you're doing, and you need to learn that. And it was in driver's ed, and now I don't want to ride in the car with you. We can't ride together because you cheated in driver's ed, oh and my I don't God, trust that. That's so true. You have it's to learn just, those there things. There are certain Change things that if people don't know how to do them. There's there's ber- women version of these things too, yeah, where it just what? says a lot about other things. Where it's like, like bro, cooking breakfast. Like, come on, bro. Oh yeah, like Pe- don't make the eggs first. They're gonna be cold. Who but just that? women in general were like, I can't cook. Anybody can't read a recipe. Come on, and we yeah. all know men want to be fed. Stop Come acting. On, yeah. And you every be fed moment too. you gotta Uber eat so basics, everybody can eat. No, the this. basics is and, and the thing too with men, they'll get on here and they'll say, Oh, I want this. You make a man some uh, omelet, some a sausages, taco. A, a taco. Spaghetti. They like, will take the spaghetti. They're going to be excited okay. that this is spaghetti so goddamn good. They you just make them, and, and, and the, They be talking shit about Alfredo, but you know what? You put some shrimp in that bitch. Little black oh, they they You put a little salmon in that bitch. They and don't care. You switch it up. They don't give a fuck. If you get a pre-seasoned salmon, I did this last okay. week. And I just did <laughs> it. Okay. And he was and so happy and thankful. Oh, period. Come on now. Like, you at least got to know how to heat You don't know how to do laundry. That's the easiest way to do it. You know how to clean that little back area behind your toilet. If that come on, it come on, women, come on, come on, women. There are some. And if you things. don't like to do it, hire somebody. Hello, hello. Yeah, but still, even with that, with the man things like the change the tire thing, baby, you got to change that tire. Don't yeah. you call AAA? No, well, no, because that's gonna take a Cause minute. Because now I'm looking like you, like you a bitch. I'm sorry. Now I gotta go hire somebody. I'm gonna feel like I'll do it, and then you're gonna be upset. If I you said don't I'll do know it, how to properly use a firearm, I can't really fuck Lord. with you. I need to feel protected and safe. Yeah. And that's another one because I went down to the gun range, and I'm a shooter. I'm natural born. I was popping people's heads off on them little targets. Mm, me and too. I was they like, said that the, when I went to the gun range, the man that was working, the manager, because I was doing pretty good. And I don't like guns. I get really scared, but I want my nigga to have one <laughs> legally and know how to properly use yeah, it. I'm getting one <laughs> to I, be clear. I'm yeah, be just to be clear. And so. The man said that women, when they come, even if you've never shot a gun before, women are so good at following directions that yep. we're typically better. Yep. I was busting niggas in the- sh- Yeah, it was fun, It too. was so much fun. I want to go back this yeah. weekend. I was like, okay, give me a bigger Yeah, I'm getting one. me a gun because, yeah. I'm- How the silencers work. I think we need to shoot <laughs> niggas more anyway. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, maybe a little taste, a little, little zap. A little BB gun. <laughs> okay. Um, red flag or deal breaker. His last five exes were white women. Oh. Jonathan Majors. <laughs> <laughs> was he really looking, moved on was he looking for Coretta and Scott she King energy? Next to him with her head held high. What a is going Michelle on? Obama. Was he looking for Coretta Scott King energy from those uh, pink-toed women's mm. pig nipples? Good night. This is wildly insane. I just felt like as soon as I heard this, like he now is dating Megan Good. Yeah. I said this sounds like there needs like to a be a comic made where the black woman is the superhero. She comes in and she's like super nigga. Super, she's super nigga. Yep. Super niggerette. Yeah. And she come, you all your girlfriends were white. She they yeah. fucked up your life and yeah. here you come. Yeah. Here yeah. you come yeah. with a seasoned mm. meal. Okay. Mm-hmm. And rent. Okay. Mm-hmm. Lord. 
And she can, she can, she can, she can fix a tire. She can change a tire. She can she change a tire. She can spice up a car. She's spicing <laughs> the car and the food. She making biscotti and Alfredo and turkey. What is it? Uh, this a little is collard greens. Little for the collard new year. greens. Lord. <laughs> little black eyed peas. I tried the black eyed peas Shout yesterday. Out to you, Shout yesterday, out. a week later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Megan Carrera Scott. She never King had the Jr. New Good. Year's, uh, the Negro New Year's meal, oh, and she said she tried Megan Carrera Scott King. King. Good. Megan Coretta Scott King Jr. Good. That has to yes. be the name of the episode. Yes. Megan Coretta Scott King Jr. Jr. Good. good. Because Shout what the fuck her. is she doing anyway? She's like, saving girl. niggas. She's but saving what? niggas. Saving niggas. I, well, for I white don't women. Know. For white women. She is I saving know. niggas from white women. Now she's doing the Lord's work. Mm-hmm. Before, That's what Kat said. Mm-hmm. What he said. Before we move on to um Indecisive Diane. This is our last red flag or deal breaker. I know your stance on this, but I do not know our good sis, Jesse Woos. Okay. You are good in dating this man. He is attractive. He's all the things that you want. He takes you out to a seafood restaurant one night. And this is the first time y'all really had seafood. And he is like, I will have the Cajun salmon. Salmon. He pronounced As the L. I mean, is he African? He's not African. <laughs> is he, he from, he's African American. He's from, he from the Third Ward. <laughs> third Ward, Fourth Ward. What's the one is in Atlanta, Fourth Ward? We're in Fourth Ward right now. Where he's he's because like I grew up with Salomon. Okay. Salomon? I grew up with That's <laughs> different. Salomon? <laughs> Salomon. And what? Can Sal- I have Salomon? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a red flag. For you. It's not even a red flag. It's okay. It's just like, like if, where he, you if, he, if he an immigrant, if he got a green card, I ain't gonna mind it because I know where that comes from. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're from Fourth Ward, I am going. You know, but at the same time, I'm the same. I'm the same girl who grew up in Miami, where you know Miami niggas they take you out to eat. And they ordering filet mignon. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I've been there. With a glass of Merlot. I've been, <laughs> I've been down to the prom 112. And, yo, uh, can I get the filet mignon? Like, very confident. Uh-huh. Very confident. How do y'all feel when that ha- when stuff like that? I get mad and I don't know how I can do this. I don't do get this. mad. I no, just I like, just was, you know, the school system. Mm. Not visibly mad, but in my mind, yeah, I am like, like, how did I get here? What did I miss? It's just... And- <laughs> I, I think about, like what you said, the school system. I'm like, the oh, school. so many people have failed this young man. Yeah. And, uh, and, and no and child a, left behind yeah, is exactly. a horrible We need to leave thing. some of these leave kids Leave these behind. motherfuckers yeah. behind. <laughs> we need to leave these kids. Leave them behind. Especially this new gen. Oh, my God. Leave their ass behind. The children please. are the future and I am fucking scared. I'm Okay. I feel like we Global were the, la- the, we're the last generation can't of like be the kids Whitney Houston was talking about. I'm she was talking about us. She was talk- oh, it's true. She was talking about she us. Was talking well, about some us. of us. <laughs> Not because that's when the, the no child left behind started. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to come out with a ratchet wine label no, and it's then, like Mignet. Filet yeah. mi- I mean, not Filet Mignet. Huh? Merlot. Merlot. Yeah. What's the other one that's a little hard to pronounce? Sauvignon Blanc. No, I love that's that just one. hard because it's hard. There's another one where it's like. Um, Pinot Grigio. Peanut Grigio. Yeah. Let me get that peanut. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. I've been. So to me, it's like, I'll show them grace. Mm hmm. I just be like, what is going on? I'm going to correct you. I just know I won't call you after this. We can finish the date. I just know it is done. I think I could call somebody after, but only if they didn't act like they were like very well to do and hoity toity and just knew. Yeah. Because I have been out with niggas who act like they just about this fancy ass life. Right. And you can't pronounce shit. But you can't tell them that they not about the fancy life though. And it's like, shut your scamming ass up. Yeah, exactly. They don't care. Uncle Sam. <laughs> They don't care. Mm-hmm. You can't they tell don't. them. Yeah. <sighs> the people are <sighs> um, crazy. Okay. I want to know what you guys' uh, red flags and deal breakers are and what you guys think about this one. Did you have another one? I wanted, I had plenty more, but I feel like we don't really. Okay. One more. One more. One, one more. more. Likes to split the bill. Hmm? Oh, hell That's no. like his thing. He's uh, like, he has his life together and he can take care why? of his self and stuff and he's like but he's like I do think that like we need to be splitting the that's bills that's the same person that was his last five exes were white because oh, yep. it's that you, yes. might, you yep. might be honest yep yep yep, yep 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 okay one more it's giving, John, <laughs> it's giving Jonathan Majors it yeah. is I can't I, that, the Jonathan Majors thing y'all I'm not gonna lie I have to publicly admit I'm very sad because I was about. one of his. I liked Jonathan Majors. I like. I didn't know his personal he's life. He's a great his actor. Movie, yeah, he's talented. an amazing. Yeah, and talented. I was like I'm so still excited. Sad about love yeah, me too. I was excited to see where his career was headed. Me too. Me too. I was so I was like this nigga. Like what was the cowboy movie on Netflix? The harder they fall. Yeah. Oh, he did mm-hmm. such a good job. He, that's when I was like, but he's it, talented. He's talented, and I personally do think he's fine. He was good in Five Bloods too. 
He's yeah, he fine. I think he's fine as fuck. I think he's he fine. He just got nice civil rights features. I don't know. I have a problem with Cat Williams that he said when you when they put an ugly he's nigga like, like that up. He, he's he had like, that ugly fine. Yeah, he's like he he's, he's March on Selma fine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right. But I was born in '88, not '58, so you know. He was very in shape. I just thought he was. Oh yeah, the body was body. Yeah, he definitely could. Use a I just, I know he taking Megan Prince got King Good Jr. to Pound Town. Got to the way she was, the way she just stood and by his Coretta side. Scott ain't no way in court. Ain't no way. Mm-hmm. Say it again, Megan. Megan Coretta. Coretta Scott King Jr. Good. I know he taking her to Pound Town. <laughs> Pound Town. Just left Pound Town. He's taking her to Pound. He don't even like black women, and he's taking her to Pound Town. Okay. Pound Town. Yeah. For real. For real. Last one, because our other guest isn't here yet, but he said he at the door. Um, <laughs> You're on the date. You like him. Everything's going well. Everything's going well. You like him. He asks to kiss you. He doesn't just kiss you. Oh, that's nice. How does he say it? Yeah, I kiss you. You guys are, let's say you're bowling or you're some yeah, activity. No, he's like, oh. we're going to play this next round. And if if you lose, I get to kiss you. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I don't like the I get to. It's consent. But I, I like uh, like the wager. Like, okay. With this, I get this. I don't mind that. You what if he like was it? like, you're going to lick my booty hole tonight? Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Off of a bowling ball? <laughs> Nigga, I got nails. You know I'm not even about to hit this shit. What's something about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to lick your booty hole? That's something I should offer you. <laughs> Jesse, how do you feel about licking booty what? holes? She I just told you to do it. But she might... <laughs> I just t- no. no. That's against my religion. No, <laughs> Baby, absolutely not. That is against oh, her. Oh no, these men don't even know how to wipe good. Well, next thing you know, I got Hershey's e. mouth. Oh, oh no, it's like eating Jack in the Box. Oh. Jack in the Box is still open. I don't know. Oh, God. I, just, I just remember when they had their whole little e. y'all, y'all, thing. y'all, y'all eat booty. I eat a little booty. Damn, y'all both eat booty. <laughs> Not all the time. Wait, so like not all the time, just like does, on occasion. But it's got to be a clean booty. But like, I'm trying to what position? Yeah, he do the legs up. The legs up. Usually, I yeah legs does he up. Spread and I have them? to. My boy, my boyfriend so, now does not spread. I have to like work my way in there. You got to like kind of dive into the mattress because they'd be like trying to squinch it down. Mm-hmm, but it's like you, I also that. know you want. So I don't it. know what their legs are doing because my head is down in there and I can't see shit. But can darkness. you breathe? A little bit, and then I come up for air. But by the time I come up for air, they I'm sure they put their legs down if they were just flailing in the air. I, <laughs> That's a very vulnerable Maybe position. Maybe I should <laughs> set up a little camera and watch. Yeah, it is, but I don't. I don't ever see that part. I just know it's down there. And again, I want you speaking in tongues. So if that's how we gonna get there, do they? Do they like moan? My nigga don't be moaning. They moan a little bit. I or can't they even say, stay down or there they that cuss. long. Like a little fuck. Oh, oh shit! And then they be kind of scared and just like it's okay, baby. And I try to like hold their hands and they try to fight it. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's a, it's that a, sounds it's powerful. Been a while. Yeah, and I feel very powerful when yeah, it's done. It, it seems it's like been a, a while thing. since I've done it. I don't know when I'll do it again, but you know, it's a special treat. Mm-hmm. It is a special treat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, before we move on to Indecisive Diane, I do want to remind everybody to go to paradiseandvibe.com. It's probably too late to book Brazil because we're going in February, February 10th through the 20th. But you guys, we are going to Fiji July 3rd. Ooh, that sounds fun. Through July 10th. I'm so excited. I don't even know where Fiji is for real. I just want to grab a Fiji water and sit there <laughs> and sip it and look at all the Fijian people and eat the food. It's an amazing trip. Perfectly curated. Go to paradiseandvibe.com. Come to Fiji with me in July. All right. Now we're going to move on to Indecisive Diana. When we come back, Jesse Wu is going to help us with some advice letters. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. And we are back from Indecisive Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? Hey, ladies, it's me, your trusty date decision maker, (laughs) Diane. So listen, Valentine's Day is coming up. Valentine's Day, that's with an N, not an M. February 13th, that's the day before Valentine's Day. Do you remember when we had Shea Primus on? She's an an elite, epa echelon matchmaker. Well, she's hosting a Coleman Love Speed dating event. So calling all the dogs and the divas. Okay. 
Okay, and we are back from Indecisive Diane, and it is time for the advice. If you have a question that you would like for us to answer on the show, make sure you email us, advice at cocktailspod.com. Okay. Okay, so this first one, Jesse, you're going to help us give this advice. I didn't proofread it, so forgive me. Oh, Lord. It's titled, Help, Sexual Unsatisfied. Sexual hmm. Unsatisfied. I think she meant sexually. sexually un- okay. <clears throat> Dear Kiki and Medina, I have been a listener for about two years, and I love you guys. I attended the Halloween live show in Chicago this year, 2023. It was a lot of fun. I wish I was closer to the stage to be picked for the games, maybe next time. Anyway, I'm going to make this short. I'm in my mid-30s, I'm single, and I'm a woman. Back in my college days, I used to have so much sex, like nasty, satisfying sex, and I loved it. I haven't been dicked real good in forever, and it's sad. Girl. Jesse only I'm having sorry. sex three times a year. You look fine. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> she said, like, really, it's sad. My body is craving it. I miss all the nasty sex, giving and getting head, everything. Oh. I try to pleasure myself, but it just makes me want the real deal even more. Mm-hmm. I am on dating apps, and there are guys that want to scratch this itch. Oh. I'm just scared of having random guys coming over to my house. Yeah. What if they crazy? Yeah. Ultimately, I would like to be in a relationship, but for now, mm. I really just need some real good dick on the regular. So I'm asking y'all, am I too old to start a hoe phase? And how do I start oh. it? How do I spice up pleasuring myself to get some real satisfaction? Please help me out. Sexually unsatisfied. How old was she? Mid thirties. When I when there are wholesome women in their mid thirties that are like this girl, I'm always like, what? Well, no, my sister's like her. Yeah, I'm always like, wow, how did y'all get so wholesome? Well, what? Why do y'all feel that's wholesome? I didn't say that. Well, I guess it's because like (laughs) I couldn't. I've had a lot of sex. Okay, I've dated a lot, and and it's like I've never been in a situation where it's like. I don't know how to get dick. Yeah. It's there. No, I, I think I've sometimes been there. people they want relationships and mm-hmm. they put it yep. all together instead of trying to separate the two. And mm-hmm. sometimes you do just have a physical desire and everybody's not cut out to be able to handle what comes with just a physical relationship. Yep. Um, and that can be very difficult. And I assume that people who end up in these situations, they don't know how to handle it. Like she's talking about random niggas coming to her house. It doesn't have to be random niggas coming to your house. Mm, you could be the random bitch going friend. to his house. One. Yep. Two, you could be friends with somebody and you could have like a friendship like or just like a fake friendship mm-hmm. for the sake of sex. It doesn't have to be a stranger. You can still get to know the person. Yeah. You don't have to have such hard boundaries unless you know you can't handle it. And if you know you can't handle it, well, girl, you're just going to be sad. You better figure out how to fuck to work that vibrator because it's not like you're going to get this magical, mythical creature who's going to come and dick you down real good, won't expect a relationship, won't lead you on. You won't fall into any of those traps yeah. and confuse yourself. That's not realistic. You got to figure out how to compartmentalize stuff if you yeah. haven't found somebody or just use your toys. And you have to figure out how to organize who you're dating. Like, I, I guess that's why I'm like, I've never really been in a position where it's like, there's just nobody I can fuck. I've taken breaks, but it was my choice. I wasn't just like, I don't know. There is always somebody I can hit up because I have organized the niggas in the okay. right files. So how should she organize them? You have to date, first of all. You do have to go on dates and figure out, okay, maybe you're not comfortable with this guy right now, but keep going on dates. Do activities. Don't just do boring shit because then you won't want to see nobody no more. Do fun shit, get to know them, get to know their friends, let them get to know your friends, get comfortable with them. And then even if you still aren't ready for him to come over. Sometimes it be their friends. Sometimes it do be their friends. I kind of have a little situation like that right now. Oh, that might be your cocktail. And I'm like, "Mm, but your friend though, it's your friend. It's not you. It's your friend. You think the friend knows you think that? I don't know, but he recently followed me on IG and I followed him right back. Mm. I know that's right. Mm. Mm. Something tells me you're in a position to where you could finagle getting the friend. I'm not sure oh, our, our listener could. I definitely could. I, I And I didn't do anything with the main guy. I didn't do anything with him. So keep those yeah. legs closed yeah. until you yeah. scope yeah. out but the But if friend. the friend, if the friend, baby, if the Do friend sends a out. signal, baby, no, nah, he ain't even got. We ain't even got to hang out, baby. You could just come Not on you, in. Not you, her. <laughs> oh, her, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, girl. you got it in the yeah, bag. Yeah, no, she didn't wait, get out. Her, and now her question was: Is she too old to start a whole phase? Absolutely face? not. No, absolutely I, I feel not. Like I've never. I feel like I'm one of those people who have never had a whole phase either. Mm-hmm. And I think that a lot of shame comes with that. Mm-hmm. For whatever the reason, there's so many reasons why a lot of shame comes with that, especially with when you're a woman, society wants you to conduct yourself a certain way. Mm-hmm. But listen, like, 
bro, pussy get wet. Real wet. What you and supposed somebody to do? To slide in. What and you supposed to do? It thrives. And I'm not a toy person. I've tried here and there. I just don't think that's for me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like I, while I can go like two years without having sex, like. But like w- once that fire is ignited, I have to have it. Mm-hmm. I have to. So yeah, you gotta do what you, you gotta do. That? You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. I don't think you feel. Old. I actually think it's easier when you're older because you're like really, really grown and you're mentally stable and you're more, more pre- Yeah, and then like the men, it's less judgment involved. People are very much grown. And, and everybody really has shit to do. Like, exactly. Yeah, and ain't nobody tripping off of this and worried about it as much as like childish people are in your mm-hmm. 20s yeah. and teens. So. Yeah. yeah. So try it out, girl. Live your life. Something tells me you're not living your life. Live your life. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun. Um, How to spice up pleasuring myself when I get some real satisfaction. Watch some porn. That's all I would say. I Watch don't like porn. porn. I love it. It'd be too rough for me. I gotta I gotta watch the romantic porn. Oh yeah, that's what I like. Too. Yeah, I like to watch the romantic. I haven't women. watched porn in years though, but when I would watch it, it would be that or the cartoon porn, the little hentai, the little mm, Japanese people. Watch the cartoon. The little... <laughs> I tried to watch it. I couldn't get it. I was just thinking was of like, Dragon Ball Z. Mark Simpson getting fucked like this. This is wild. And I know Homer Simpson was not packing like this. Absolutely not. I really wonder what God was doing when he was doing all of our minds. Because why do some of us like that? I think for me, though, it's because, um, so in therapy, I learned I was vi- I was violently introduced to sex. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times porn can be, looks violent to me. Mm-hmm. So the hentai is just a softer way. And it's a cartoon. And it's, it's no a cartoon. It's not real. So I'm not, I'm not associating mm-hmm. it with real bodies. It's just like, it's just pure like entertainment. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. Man. Well, good luck, home girl. I hope you figure it out and have fun on this whole phase. Don't get too attached and just just try to have fun with it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the cocktails because we're running low on time. Ooh. If you guys have a cocktail that you want to share, make sure you send it in to us. It's cocktails, C O C K T A L E S at cocktailspod.com. Now, Jesse, mm-hmm. do you remember what a cocktail is? No. So you'll share a story. Well, you have the option. You can share a story pertaining to your personal dating and sex oh, life. It mm-hmm. can be something that was embarrassing, ro- very romantic, weird, unique, like a story that you Fun. have told your girlfriends or guy friends, and they're like, bitch, that did not happen. Or bitch, that did not happen. It don't matter what what the, the category is. Do you have a story oh to God. share? And if I you do. don't, you can read you one. Do. Okay. You do. Okay. Yes. Let's I love when people it. have one. Go ahead. The floor is yours. I don't know yours. if I should share it. Oh, you absolutely should. You if it's should. a, I don't know I should share it, you need to share it. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm, I can't wait to hear it now. Right? This man's gonna block me. <laughs> don't just don't say no name. He not I'm gonna not know. gonna say no names, but so basically, like around like about like two years ago, there was a guy who, um, I was seeing. We were seeing each other. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be this man's girlfriend. I, I wasn't sure. Like, but I liked the time that we'd spend together, so I was entertaining it and. So there was one time when we went out and it was a group of us that went out. We went to a strip club and um, I think he got a little too drunk mm. because then like he kind of put his tongue in a stripper's ass. <gasps> in her butthole? <laughs> At the club? And then, and then turn around and try to put his tongue in my mouth. You have lost no. your mind. Well, depending on how drunk I was, I maybe would have did it. Yeah, he was. But that's when I was like, oh, yeah, we have to take him out of here. Like, mm-hmm. we have to get out. Because I knew he was just, he couldn't. I was like, oh, no, let's wrap this up. Let's He's wrap this up. Unhinged. We got to go. You ain't strip our pony. Yeah, up. yeah, no. Nah. And it's and like, trying to kiss and me? on the clock, on the clock, that's stripper clock booty. Stripper booty. Like, you huh? know what I'm saying? Like, if she was off the clock, she showered her like that. And people are looking. Everybody's looking. This she sound like clock. hedonism. We was down to the blue flame. Like, everybody be up in there, like, no, mm. baby, we can't do that. So anyway, so he he 
next day he apologized to me profusely. <laughs> and so a couple of days later, like we went out and you know, he wanted to go out to eat. So on our way out, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> The stripper ran out. I was like, y'all ain't by me. Where <laughs> <laughs> got money at, Tony? Oh, look. The she's on the ball. <laughs> on the way to lunch, he said, oh, man, I got to pee. I got to pee. And I was like, oh, okay. But like, we're, we're almost to Pont City Market. Mm -hmm. Y'all went to the strip club in the morning? Time? This no, this is like a few, oh, okay. a few days later. <laughs> we go out. A few days later, we went out. And so... He's like, he said he had to pee. I was like, okay, like we're almost to Pond City, so you. So as we're getting out the car, he was like, uh, uh, uh. He peed on himself. Oh no! Why he didn't just? You have a. You was he spray. old, ja ja Jesse? Was he old? Did he have a Was UTI? he an old nigga? And he needed like he need like because if he's old, was he old? He peed, and then like, how bad was like the pee on himself? He's like a decade older than us, but his like, car was that ain't old enough. Was his car. He peed. Now, what was going on with his pants? Oh, were they light was, colored? It was hor. It was. We had to get back in the car. Did it smell like he drank water? Oh my god! Mm. Only beers. As and someone booty who holes. peed in the bed for an abnormally long time, I, I forgot about I, that. It's very oh. embarrassing how long I peed in the bed. So I have yeah, like this is. very soft spot for people who are peeing <laughs> on themselves, but. That one is different because when I have to go, I have to go. If we had to stop at a Popeyes, You're we got to stop at a Popeyes. You, you are a man. I'm on the side of the road. I'm on the road. And I have you to see a lot. You are a man. I just feel like you could have like pulled over quickly yeah. and just slung the dick outside or now. flicked it, whatever <clears> size <throat> you're working with, and got it out the door. Uh, Lean over. Yeah. Did he have a disorder? <laughs> he just tried to hold it. We, was y'all drunk? Were y'all leaving? We were No, it's this was a few days later. We weren't drunk or anything. So, well, was he drunk? I don't know. But mm. anyway, so we get back. <laughs> At the time, we're living in the same building. And he's like, oh, let me go change my clothes or whatever. And I was like, I just want to lock my door and never come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, did enough. you come out? I had enough. No, I had enough. Was um, that a red flag or a deal breaker? Oh my God, that was a deal breaker. Well, she didn't come back out. Yeah. They didn't make it. Yeah. Like... That was a deal breaker for me. I was like, okay. Did you say something? No. Mm. I never said anything. I just said, oh my God, it's okay. Because like, what do you say We're to women, somebody? Yeah, because you're not going to be like, nigga, you really just yeah, yeah, on your yeah, mother. Yeah. I can't stand when people just beat no, people down. No, no. Like, he this peed man, on himself. Life beat him up. You know Talk about happened. him behind his back. Yeah. Don't yeah. do I'm it. I'm just going to call my sister and my homegirls. Like, I'm not going to do it to yeah, you. Yeah, you're yeah, embarrassed yeah. Yeah, 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 This is a lot. Yeah, yeah this is a lot. lot. So, yeah. You're a sweet, sweet I was like, oh my God, it's okay. It's all right. You know, but yeah, that was... Bitch, this nigga peed on his oh, self on the way as to Pine Street Market. So we weren't even going nowhere nice, so you know I couldn't go. I got home. Close that I door. said, Mallory. girl, <laughs> guess who peed on themselves? In front girl. of me. I just seen it all. Yeah, and I don't think just, he drank no really water do, in three like, weeks. We save a lot of niggas. Yeah. Like, the way that some of these make it on the internet and talk. I've seen people oh. talking crazy. I'd be like... Give me a moment. I'll, let me do my Cat Williams. Allow Are you me okay? to say something. Let me do my Cat Williams spray. Okay. Are you? Because a lot of y'all would be really okay. embarrassed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shoot. They man to that. Let me go on Club Shay Shay and, and okay. tell my story. You hear a Shannon shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let the oh. ladies come and spray a little okay. squirt. Okay. <laughs> so we spray, spray a little spray. squirt. <laughs> spray a little squirt. Okay, Je Jesse, thank you so much for coming. This has been oh, long overdue. You. We appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you. Congratulations to everything you got going thank on. Bitch, you killing it. Thank you. Let Sorry, us know. Guys. Let our listeners know if you have anything going on, if you need any support, let them know where they can um, find you. Yeah, well, Dish Nation is nationally syndicated, so check your local listings. Dish Nation is on your local listings at, on Fox. Um, and you can follow me on all socials, the Jesse Wu. Uh, if you have a YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do just a couple things. That's uh, what I do on YouTube, and it's really fun. So I'm subscribing now if I'm not already subscribed. I think yes. I might be, but I don't be on YouTube that much unless I'm looking at our comments. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I be looking at food videos and editing videos. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always like, on YouTube. And now doggy videos. Yeah. Doggy videos. Oh my God, the videos where people be taking care of their dogs more than they take care of humans. Dogs are it. spoiled. That's I me. I love it. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode. Please make sure you check the description box and support us by purchasing the things in the description box, shout out to all of our sponsors. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. We're at Cocktails Podcast. I'm at Kiki Said So. I'm at Coffee Bean D. And until next week, you guys. Goodbye. goodbye. I'm sorry.
but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.